two, three, four. <laughs> So we started this trip off 7 a.m. in the morning. The road to Hana isn't very long, but the drive is very wavy and windy and dangerous and We picked up two family members on the way here and they're telling me that there's this guy who goes around Hawaii and torches random cars that are left on the side of the road. And that's what you see right here and <laughs> I thought it was so cool. It's mean to do but it's just like a cool thing. Like you could be like, yo, I'm that guy who torches cars just for fun. <laughs> of course, like, well, we got that on camera. Austin. 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 Halfway through the Honda Drive, and we're just taking a pee stop and there's waterfalls like every other turn. It's been beautiful. I'm so excited to get to like the black sand beach, the red sand beach. Where you at, Jack Doth? Time to finish the road to Hana. The locals made it clear that we had to try this place out. Hi! Oh, God. Okay, so this entire board is full of people that have been here. And they mark their their spot of where they uh, where they're from. But I'm just looking at the ones that are up in the most obscure places, like up here, up here, like all the way down here. Look at this. They're all there. Look right here. People live on the first try of the legendary. Watch you cut your finger off, old we'll it. Oh no! Coconut cutting accident gone wrong. Can I can I cut one of the coconuts? All right, let's see it, Corey. Show them. So I found this cane knife as my parents were looking at wells. No one was really, no one was really around. Founders keepers, losers weepers, and uh, I'm gonna take it home and put it on my weapon wall. Whoa, Papa! Whoa! Let's go, boys and girls. To ascending, I'm filming a Mustang commercial. It's starting right now. Can you guess what this state park is called? One appa appa appa. Wanapanapa <laughs> State Park. Alright, I tried, I tried. So we just jump into there. Whoa! Wow. This is awesome. So Corey's contemplating jumping off this rock, swimming all the way out to here, and getting on the top of this like pillow that looks like a finger and jumping off of it. But the current is insane. Look at this current. So this is Black Sand Beach. It's a little bit touristy more than the other beaches we're gonna go to, but it's just incredible to see. I've never seen this in person. It's one of the youngest beaches because it's all lava sand from lava rock. Trippy. At least you look beach. beautiful right Can now. Can I at least go in like right here? Or is that so sketchy? Black sand beach. Okay, so right when I walked on the beach, oh my god! The camera might fall for fall over. No? That's so sketchy. Oh. That's so sketchy. Okay, so I walked in the beach, and there's rocks, like all and down there. Those rocks sand. turn into this sand. Yeah, because they they rub around so much, it becomes sand. See, look, see, now it's sand. This is pretty much school, so you guys can quit. Ha, <laughs> no homework. That was so cool, doing all those flips on that famous beach. I will never forget that, never forget that. <laughs> he does not know how to jump off. What do you do? He just jumped off and like went sideways. That's oh, okay. exactly what Corey's gonna do right now. He's gonna jump off that sketchy rock. I opt out so, so I can film and get the right shot for this. So good luck to Corey. I, I do have a fear of going over there right now and doing this, like a way big fear, but I wanna do this. I feel like it'd be the coolest thing in the world just saying oh, I came to Hawaii and I jumped off the rabbit ears. Look how crazy it is. Hey, everybody comment down below rabbit ears and comment on our Instagram rabbit ears. Let's do that again, that was funny. Good luck, Corey. Thank you. Yeah. Is he gonna flip? I wonder if he's gonna flip. F-U-N-K-B-R-O-S. Yep. See you guys. Hell yeah, I'm so happy about this. Like, see, if I got a lot of tattoos, like if I was a person with tattoos, 
This will be a moment where I like tattoo some rabbit ears or something. Cause that's the nickname of the spot. Ooh, banana! Bananas! Bananas. So these are the bananas grown <laughs> here in Hawaii. And I supposedly they taste a lot better, so we're gonna try them out. That's called banana. It's called an ice or something. Good bananas. We were told it's a skate park out here in the middle of nowhere. Do you think do you think it's gonna be like a high quality skate park or like a or like a low end skate park? Whoa. Low end skate park for sure. Holy crap, we just arrived at the skate park and it's already so gnarly. For the, for the quality of this skate park, you would never guess it's out in like the middle of nowhere pretty much. Is this the middle of nowhere or am I just being very touristy? 2,500 miles in the middle of the ocean in any direction and you're on the most remote part of this particular island. Perfect, we yeah. need those facts. Do you really know us? Yeah, you're Caprin. I mean, you're Cory. That's Caprin. Um, you trying to trick us? Caper and Corey. He got it. Guys, the skate park is phenomenal for being out in the middle of nowhere. This is insane. Insane in the membrane. These quarters are godly. This quarter behind me. This is the quarter that every scooter rider wants to ride, I promise. Brotherly love! You, you don't ride a skate park normal, you ride it the best way you can. Okay, sorry, I, ha I have to do this one time, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm good. Okay, we have to rush because we're running out of daylight. Corey's gonna throw down some clips. We just finished eating a bunch of burgers and the locals were giving us crap and now we showed them a flare. They're like, whoa, that was cool. All right, Corey's gonna do tricks now. You ready? Okay. Okay. Yep. Line. Line. Oh my gosh. He landed it. He landed it. It's a random red bar. Bounce that finger. Oh. Whoa. God, I'm out. Ready to go? I'm out, yeah, let's go. Time to go visit some more pretty sites. Good job, Corey, dropping off that roof. As the millennials would say, that was lit. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut soccer. Let's go, Corey. I'm wearing my Australian soccer shirt. Oh, I just have a juice, you man. <laughs> Ow, it hurt. Like, if this thing were to fall on you? Yeah, you know, more people die from coconuts than sharks. I just made that fact up because I thought it'd be true. Really? Yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. We're going to Red Sand Beach, that's where we're going. We're sponsored by Hawaii Water, you guys, do you guys know that? Warning, dangerous conditions exist. The trail is dangerous. Dangerous. Here comes the tourist wow. Whoa! Oh, there's my ukulele. Listen, it's like shells. Holy like a little cove. And there's like rocks in the way, so like all the waves crash in. It's really like nice over there too. Whoa! Look at that! We're such tourists. Oh my god, how deep is that? Oh, we can make it. Jump, Corey. Okay. No, no, no! That person's naked! Yeah, it's a nude beach. Don't film that. Much. You can't see with this. You can't see it with this. Look, it's a hiker dog. Papa, you know it's a nude beach? Yep. Don't be looking over there. Guess he's going nude. <laughs> That's no. private. Corey, we should jump in naked. Okay, but look. Look at that. Here at the Red Sand Beach, and there's nudity here, so we can't film too much. We gotta respect people's boundaries. And yes, we got naked. <laughs> we had to join in. We're not gonna show you guys because that'd be weird, but it's all good. Corey and I are jumping off this this rock in like the middle of the cove. And look how choppy it is. Currently leaving Red Sand Beach. I'm in my undies. <laughs> Shout out to all the nude people. I was one of them. No big deal. <laughs> Why am I bragging about this? You beach? said new what? Nude. I think we're on our way back soon. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. 
Cannot wait for the sunset. That's what I'm waiting for. Woo!